What's up everybody and welcome back to Serotology. I'm Tafari. And this channel is dedicated for my young DJs for them to become better DJs. Alright, sorry for the late upload guys. Um I was trying to get other DJs and artists to actually interview and give you a better perspective of their experience in the music. But because this channel is not getting the 1000k views and 1 million subscribers, you know, people don't just want to help you. So I was trying, well, I got somebody else. I got Sean Miller. He actually accepted. So he is one of my great friends, my brother in real life. Him actually said, I'm going to do the interview with me. So I'm actually going to put out this video and then I'm going to actually then release that video. All right. So I had this video in mind, but I wanted to actually combine this video with another explanation from one of those DJs. So it will give you a better experience and, you know, knowledge. But as I said, channel now I get that. So I'm going to know help you. But as I said, when you reach a million subscribers, I know I won't be asking nobody for help. Bro. So let's get it down with the video. I know this channel is more about Surata DJ. But I have two great alternative software that you can actually start using to practice playing your tracks, playing music, and start becoming a DJ. Understand me? So stay tuned. The first program I recommend to any first time a DJ is Serato DJ Lite. But then you have to subscribe to Serato Play and buy a compatible DJ controller actually get the limited features of Serato DJ Lite and bear in mind in the future you have to advance to Serato DJ Pro so if you go to Serato DJ Lite you're going to want to advance to Serato DJ Pro in the future so just have that in mind I'm a Jamaican and I live in Jamaica well here in Jamaica so I know how hard it is to actually get a decent laptop to start playing music just imagine how hard it is to get a decent controller to use for your personal um, preferences it's gonna be very hard to even buy one you understand me so these two alternative programs actually don't need any hardware to actually play with them you just need your laptop and your song them on your hard drive welcome to the world of virtual dj this software i think is one of the best software for beginners djs so djs who don't have no experience in music who just want to get their tracks on their computer and start learning the music this virtual dj software i think is one of the best all right now this is a story at the channel but i want people to actually start because you can actually move from virtual dj to serata dj um pro or serata dj light so yeah you, you get what i'm saying so if you actually start up the easiest one you'll actually eventually move up just like if you start at serata dj light you're going to move up to serata dj pro it's just that Surat virtual dj is just a a little pre-step before Serato then all right we call it a pre-step before Serato because you want some people's not going to get the Serato DJ light just like that or how to use Serato with a controller or with a keyboard instantly so it's best if they start actually knowing the music and getting the music on their computer and then they can actually play it very easily with the two sides learning how to mix and you know set the bpms for your tracks without having a controller you can actually do it, do it while you're listening to your earphones or your earpods or your headphone or all right i remember you can start playing music on serata dj pro without any controller all right just subscribe to the serato um subscription and upgrade your computer to mac os mojav and you will get the double jog wheel on your serato dj pro and that will allow you to actually play without a dj controller you can cross fade between the both decks and stop and play set high and mid 
for both decks without a controller. But because this is a beginner's channel, I want to make it very easy for you guys. So I want to take you guys to, to a step-by-step -step process. I know this first part is very long, but it's very long for a reason. All right? And if you find this information very helpful, please share it with another DJ so it can help them too. All right? If you care about their DJ life and DJ progress, you can share it with them and let them even get a perspective from this video and don't forget please subscribe great content coming out guys it's just that this is just starting so i want to start it slowly and then get it up speedy on track all right have the virtual DJ home free on your computers which you want the virtual DJ Pro so this is a virtual DJ that I actually bought back in the day that I'm actually gonna give you for free so it's the virtual DJ Pro so this one you can connect the sound card or any controller to it for any amount of time so it's completely free you actually get it just install it i have it a download link that i'm actually going to show you right now on my computer how to get it so here we go so basically i have it here in my drive so i will share the drive link within the description below so you can actually click the link and it'll go straight to where i'm at now and you actually get either windows or mac so you just press windows or mac and you get it so here, I have a Mac, but I'm actually going to show Windows because I know a lot of, of DJs here in Jamaica use Windows with Virtual DJ. So basically, um, it's very straightforward here. If you, if you already have the Virtual DJ Home, then that's good. If you already have the Virtual DJ Home free, great. Okay, you actually need to install that first. So from you have that, good. Go back, very simple. The next move into virtual DJ main folder. So where the virtual DJ is actually installed, all you do is just simply drop this virtual DJ Pro EXE on in the folder, and you, you get the home, the pre, the and you get the virtual DJ Pro. Right? So it's very simple. So once you install home, just drag and drop this um this exe here in the main folder for virtual dj and you're good to go all right all right for the mac side i'm gonna go back to mac all right for the mac side all right for the mac side it's very simple so basically um, this is cracked. So you install this program here first. So it's going to be a, a, a installation that's done. So it's going to install the virtual DJ, the regular one. I think it's a home, the free one. It's going to install the regular one. Once that's installed, and let's see what I know. Once that's installed, you just enter the serial number for the um, virtual DJ and it will automatically give you the pro version on your MacBook. So if you do have virtual DJ pro on your computer, I have it very easy for you to actually get the virtual DJ pro software on your computer. So you can actually download it and start practicing and using it as a beginner DJ. All right. And remember the links are in the description. So just please check them out get the virtual dj pro i know a lot of you don't have the pro version so that's why i'm actually giving you guys for free all right why i recommend virtual dj pro or virtual dj 7 because it's one of the easiest software i think for beginners to actually start practicing and start playing music so basically if you don't have 
any experience in need, you can actually start using Virtual DJ Pro, Home, any one of them, well, seven. And you'll actually start grasping how to mix your tracks, um, grasp how to sync your tracks, grasp how to actually set your BPMs properly, how to actually change the pitch of the song, what is key lock. Virtual DJ has all of these um, functions and it's completely free. So that is the reason why I think, well, that's the reason I recommend to, this to even a first time beginner the I normally would say, yo, start the Serata like that. Because you don't know you want to start using Serata, you want to start with a bug. But when I realize that it's not everybody that has that um, capability or that mindset or the, I can say a, a higher IQ then or average IQ to actually start using Serato because you need an average IQ I'm telling you, you need, you need to have an average IQ to actually learn how to use Serato with Virtual DJ you can have a less than a, I'm not saying people who use Virtual DJ are stupid or less smart or because you have great minds who use Virtual DJ alone and even Tractor and, and them on their bad, better than whoever they on Serato but I'm just saying from a perspective that where I'm from and here in Jamaica, you know, it's very, it's very simple. I can teach them from the basics, the, which is how the music coming, but how to mix and virtual DJ actually have those functions, just like how Serata DJ Pro has functions, but more functions, which is, you know, the virtual DJ is more easier to understand, simpler. It's more smooth, free. Alright, next thing I want to talk about is why I don't recommend Virtual DJ 8. Virtual DJ 8 is a more complicated software than Virtual DJ 7. If you actually set them side by side in comparison with each other, you see that Virtual DJ 8 has a lot more buttons and a lot more clickable things on it. They can actually use their mouse and press to get in a function. It's good to have more functions when you're using a software. But as I said, for, from a beginner's perspective, you want to keep it at the simplest form you can. Don't let anybody trick you and say, yo, go, go try, go do the, go try, go learn how to use the advanced thing them first or learn how to use the big thing them before you start getting the little thing them the way out of her stupidness. Learn the basics. When you are doing your little crossover and your little stop and play, don't watch a next man where you scratch and a press play and a crossover. Don't watch him. Trust me. Him they have to do what you are doing. But because him don't want you to reach where him reach, him will tell you, say, yo, you have to learn this in a dog and learn where him do first before. When him they are learning and that him learn, because him never know how to do that before, you get me and say, him never just start play and just start. No. No, learn the basic, brother. Oh, for stop your song, them. Oh, for play them. Just you see, from a break it in, you, you got a party, it become a habit. Your finger all that stop and play the tracks and mix. I didn't even know you had to talk to one of your brother and mix. I hear this a dear thing. You didn't even have to look by your computer. You just a glimpse it and I say, All right, it line up. I just a mix a track. And yeah, I'm on there. So I reason to see me. It just becomes a norm in life. And if you love it, you will get there. Trust me. But as I said, Virtual DJ 8, it's, it's, it has a lot of buttons on it. And I don't like that. If you even, con if you even connect your controller, you have to go subscribe and all type of that. Like Serato. So, it's better you just get the free Serato program. You understand me? Sometimes when you, well, when you download the Serato for the first time, you get a free trial. You can connect your controller to it and test it out before you actually subscribe to Serato, so that's great. But you understand me, the difference between them is just that it's night and day because Virtual DJ 7, less buttons, as I said, I gave you the pro version, you can actually connect your controller unlimited at that time, you just connect and go, you don't have to pay for anything, you just have your songs on your laptop and you're good to go. So with that said, 
um please research more about virtual dj and serata dj light because you will actually figure out which software is best for you i'm actually gonna do a next video on serata dj light so you can actually compare but as i said if you can't wait go and research it yourself download the two of them try the two of them if you if you realize i'm not saying you're supposed to subscribe to serato and all of that no get the serato dj light program on your computer get the virtual dj pro program and try to see which one you like or which one you see is actually best for you which one you see can I use right now and you know for hustle because the Serata DJ like they still can use it as a download for mix tracks and rare, rare, rare. But I think the virtual DJ Pro is just easier and more simple to use. Alright? So if you have any suggestions or questions, please comment them below. I will get to them as soon as possible. If you have any problems while installing or well downloading the um the virtual DJ Pro from the Google Drive, please um contact me here on YouTube or you can go on Instagram on Instagram at Serology or on Twitter at Serology Jamaica and yeah just message me let me know say if you have them you just email them to you straight so either that you send me an email and I'll email the files to you straight all right and with that said thanks for watching I'm out Pew.